Okay, back here with TV's blacksmith shop. Uh, this here is the lawnmower blade that I'm working on turning into a machete. As you can see, I've cut, made the handle into it. It's going to have to have a wooden handle made for it. I got a little more work to do to it. I'm going to have to finish fine tuning the edge down with with uh, a file. I've, this is what I got done. That I didn't show you while I was working on it with a grinder. I changed grinder wheels to to uh, be able to sharpen it with a heavier rock. It's sharp. It's getting sharp. up of the hand and there's the whole no way to fill them holes back in so I'm not concerned about that that won't bother a thing because you got a full probably I don't know an inch on each side of those holes so I got it with every break there it wouldn't matter that much it's pretty heavy I got a little more uh, working down here to do I want to work this down till it's comfortable where you can get a nice uh, grip I think mostly it's up here I need to work down a little more right in here and then I'll put a wooden handle on it to match it, or a handle of some kind to match it, uh, to where it will work. I'll probably put a wooden handle on it so it don't split off. If that's the plan, that would be something for chopping brush around here with. That all is good for it. But one of these kind here, to make one of these, shoot, I'd probably have to have 75, 80 bucks for it, plus the shipping because they are, it is just a lot of work. It's heavy, heavy working material. It, it takes a lot of grinding stone up to make them. You know, to sharpen them and everything, cut them out, because you have to have a, a cutter to cut them out. And plus, not to mention, I spent about, oh shoot, I'd say eight hours, probably six hours today at least on the forge, working it down, plus the, this, uh, the seed and another two hours just uh, sharpening on it and cutting out the, design of the handle so probably got about 10 hours in this already just guessing and if you have to buy this steel it gets very expensive fortunately i had a piece of lawnmower handle laying around here that i could lawnmower blade that i could make it out of so that that's no big deal it's a whole lot heavier than than this one over here these here will work around the place they're not too bad but they're a lot lighter these are but they're made for, they're just made for selling. It's made out of pot tin, real light metal. It's not as not a very heavy metal. I wish I'd have had a handle just a little bit longer, but this is the same size blade actually in length as this one. Except this one's a quarter inch thick, where this one here is not even an eighth thick. I mean it's real thin stuff. Of course this would be lighter carrying around all day, but this here would be a lot. A lot more cutting without having to swing it as many times at your at your uh, debris brush or whatever it might be in your trail. And this here will cut it just fine. But that's all these kind of things here are good for is that is uh, cutting your trail out or on a machete or cutting some fence rolls out and stuff like that. That's what I'm going to do with this one around the place. Other than that, it's a good defense weapon, but I don't suggest you go around and chasing people around with a doggone machete. It's a fucking jail. This thing, I gotta knock the bar off here. fire again one more time heat the handle because it's bent right here just a little bit I didn't get it quite straightened out right here so I'm gonna have to heat that and bend the handle back straight and then it'll be ready to put the handle now I can go ahead tonight drill the holes for the handle make a handle for it I'll have to draw out a handle and cut the handle out if I wanted to I could do that tonight messing around in the house drill drill a couple of holes to put, put your uh, 
dowel pins through and I'll just glue them in and cut them off if I can find something to make a handle out of. But I won't be putting the handle on tonight, I'll just be cutting it out. And the handle will go on here somewhere about here to back here, somewhere along here. About four inches of handle is what I got in mind. I got to work it down to fit this pattern here. The reason I left a, a little curly deal here on the end, that's to keep it from slipping out of your hand when you're cutting. So it makes a pretty good corn knife, machete knife, you know, fence roll cleaning, just cutting brush and debris around your homestead. This would work just fine for something like that. But that's it for today. TV is tired. I'm going to close down, put everything up, and, and uh, probably fire up the forge tomorrow if it's not raining. But if it is, when it quits raining again, I'll get out here and finish that machete. It'll have to be heated one more time. And, and like I say, that handle straightened out and beat down before I put the wooden handle or whatever kind of handle I make for it to put on there. Uh, have to be flattened out as so you can see when it's laying over there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got like a, a bow in it where it's bent, bent this way up. I'm going to have to heat it and re-bend that. All right, that's it. Thanks for tuning in with TB. I'm, I'm, I'm gone for today.